Well, hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Ed, and welcome to my channel. Listen, we are all about maximizing your personal finance, credit card reward points, and traveling for free. And so if that sounds good to you, I wanna ask you to like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification so you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And today, we are talking about the American Express Platinum card. This is my newest card that I got, and if you've recently got the American Express Platinum, I gotta tell you 12 things that you need to do right now. Let's go. All right, so you just got your American Express Platinum card. Now listen, you probably signed up because of all the benefits that it gets. Now we know that right now the American Express Platinum has a $695 annual fee. I was lucky enough to get mine in June, which still had the $550 annual fee, and I still get all of these perks, so I'm excited about my first year, but let's say you just got it. You have $695 of an annual fee that you need to offset right? So you want to maximize the value. You want to maximize the benefits that this card provides. The, the thing is, you're not automatically enrolled into receiving the benefits that American Express promotes on their website. And so you actually have to go into your account and make sure that you are signed up for many of these benefits. So we're going to look at that. We're going to look at which ones you need to enroll for, which ones you need to sign up for, which ones are just going to kind of be automatic after you just use your card at that establishment. And so that's where we're going to be today. If you log into your account, which I'm already logged in, and you hit the benefits button up in the top, when you go into there, you will find this page. You'll see I already have uh, some things here talking about the, the credits that I've already signed up for. But when you scroll down, you'll begin to see your card benefits. And you can you know, sort by various topics or whatever, but we're just gonna look at the main page because we just wanna look at a, kind of an overview of everything today. And so the very first one I wanna point out that you need to enroll for, which is one of their brand new credits, that they're advertising as a reason why you should get the card despite the $695 annual fee is the $240 entertainment credit. Now, we know that honestly, this credit uh, in some ways really sucks, to be honest. We were hoping that there was gonna be a lot more entertainment companies, uh, streaming companies that this credit could go towards, but we know it's only to the New York Times, Audible, Peacock, and Sirius XM. So those four things only. but. You do have to come here, there will be a blue enrollment button, you have to click it and actually enroll into the program and then you'll get this little green check mark and it says enrolled. And now, if you use your Amex Platinum as your, your payment, the, the type of payment you would use for your New York Times subscription, your Audible subscription, whatever the case may be, when it gets charged to the account, that will be reimbursed onto your statement as a credit. So that was the very first thing you need to do, enroll, for this and then go to that account and change your payment status to your MX Platinum. My wife and I did that for our Audible account and so we're looking forward to receiving the credit for our Audible account. Uh, the second thing you can see right here, the American Express Global Lounge Collection. It says enrolled in Priority Pass. Okay, this is huge. You have to enroll in order to get the component of this that is the Priority Pass uh, to, to access their clubs. And so if you don't already have a Priority Pass membership, if you did, you just kind of link it. If you don't, which I didn't, you kind of go through an enrollment process. I'm still waiting to receive all the, my official data from Priority Pass, which will allow me to go and actually create an account on their website. But you have to come in here and you have to enroll. You do not need to enroll to use the Centurion lounges. You just gotta show up with your card, which actually now there's a new way to do that through the app. Maybe I'll do a, a short video on that as well. Uh, but you don't have to enroll in that. But the enrollment in this category is so that you also get access to Priority Pass Select lounges. Um, next is we keep scrolling, the $200 hotel credit. All right, you do have to enroll in this and you have to identify which, um, oh sorry, no, I'm talking about the airline fee credit. Um, you have to identify which airline you want to use this credit towards. So you can see I'm already approved. I selected Spirit Airlines. Uh, I did sign up for their um, Spirit membership package. I believe it was $69 for one year. And so that, I already signed up for that and it already got 
uh, taken off. So my $200 fee for the remainder of this calendar year will, will only be able to be spent at Spirit. Now, I chose Spirit because we already have Southwest status with Companion Pass, so um, I have a lot of value already within the Southwest world. That's our most common um, you know, airline that we use. But with Spirit, I'm like, okay, well maybe in the next year I'll be able to take a, a quick trip on them. A lot of their expenses show up as fees to American Express. So I'm hoping to maximize this credit and maybe get a really cheap uh, experience with Spirit uh, in the coming year. Um, you do see the $200 hotel credit. I'm not really going to go into that right now, um, but it's something that you need to be aware of. We'll come back to it in a second. $200 Uber cash. $200 Uber cash. This one's pretty easy. You don't have to officially enroll. Just log into your Uber account and put your American Express Platinum as your primary payment. And automatically, you will see that the, the, the way that American Express and Uber have worked this all out, that $15 will be directly deposited into your account as kind of a, a redemption uh, amount within your Uber account. And that will come in monthly $15, uh, except for December, which um, I believe is it will be $35 in the month of December. So all you gotta do, log into Uber and change your American Express Platinum to your payment method. Scrolling down. You got the, the clear credit. So listen, I don't have clear around me. Uh, I'm still planning to sign up for this and that way if I'm in an airport that has it, I'll be able to take advantage of it. But I don't even have a uh, clear um, location around me where I can actually go and, and do the whole in-person process that's part of the sign up. Um, but you do have to, um, you don't necessarily have to enroll, you just hit that apply now button, you go to their website, it's gonna walk you through the process, it's gonna charge you, and then it'll get uh, taken off as a credit on your statement. The $300 Equinox credit, uh, listen, I enrolled, you do have to enroll for this one, and so click the button, enroll, it says I'm enrolled. I am not planning on using this. I do not believe this is a benefit that is good for me, um, but if you are planning to use it, you need to enroll for this, okay? So click it, enroll, Get your Equinox credit if you're planning to use it. Keep going. Uh, fee credit for global entry or TSA pre-check. All right, this one is confusing and I actually had a conversation with an American Express uh, worker in the chat. It says enrollment required, but there's no place to actually enroll. Now I did go on global entry and I did fill out the form and I did use my American Express Platinum. I got charged and I did see on my statement today that that has gotten already reimbursed to me. So I didn't have to do any formal enrollment. It just kind of works whenever you use your American Express Platinum as your payment method. So uh, just a heads up on that. Um, Saks, shop Saks with pl your Platinum card. You do have to enroll for this. So you can see I got my little enroll thing with my green check mark. Uh, so log in, scroll down. If you want to shop at Saks, if you want that $50 biannually uh, at Saks, you need to come in, you need to enroll for that as well. Keep going. All right, now we have our hotel status. This one is interesting. You got Hilton, you got Marriott. You do have to enroll for both of these. Now, Right now, my Marriott says enrollment pending, and I'm supposed to wait a few days. I kind of did it over the holiday, uh, July 4th holiday weekend, so I'm giving it a few days to see if that works itself out. But my Hilton actually said enrollment rejected yesterday, and so I reached out to American Express just in the chat inside the app, and um, even though I logged into my Hilton account through the enrollment process, it didn't like connect my Hilton number or something, so I just had to give my Hilton number through the chat to the American Express agent, and it linked it uh, almost instantaneously. But these are two things that you need to enroll in in order to make sure you get these statuses. Premium car rental protection and premium car rental status. All right, the status, This there is an enrollment process for this when you click into uh, the learn more you will see that they have worked on an agreement with Avis, Hertz, and National. So you do have to click in and kind of link your account for all three of those, set up your American Express, uh, Platinum as your payment method for those, and you will get those statuses. That one is also extremely important. Um, the last thing I have for you is just to look through all of this, all this stuff. 
because there's so many benefits that come with the American Express Platinum and you're doing yourself a disservice if you're not aware of what is on this page. So the extra gold cards that you get, the trip cancellation and interruption insurance, uh, the trip delay insurance, just understanding how the concierge works to be able to call them and uh, connect for, for various um, uh, things that you're trying to do, uh, the return protection, the cell phone protection. There is endless benefits to this card. I do believe this card still has a lot of value despite the new $695 annual fee. Um, and the best way you're gonna return that value is if you come in, you know what's available to you as a benefit. And specifically, you know which ones actually need enrolled. So get on your page. If you're not sure you're enrolled, get on soon. Click the enrollment for all of these. Get your accounts connected and make sure you're taking advantage of what is available to you. Well, hey, I hope this helped you. If it did, like, subscribe, hit the bell notification, and I will see you guys soon.